Hello everyone, this is Mr. Masonette, and in this tutorial we are going to demonstrate how you can use equations to problem solve. This problem is saying that the sum of three consecutive integers is 159, and we have to figure out what those three consecutive integers are. Now by consecutive, they mean in a row. For example, the numbers 1, 2, and 3 are three consecutive integers, or 9, 10, and 11 is another example. Now we could just experiment and write three random consecutive integers and see if they total 159, but that might take quite a while. So what we're going to do is we are going to write an algebraic equation to represent the situation and then solve. Now it is not given what any of the integers are, so what we're going to do is we are going to use the variable n to represent whatever the first integer is. Now because we know that the next number would just be the first one increased by 1, we can just write that as n increased by 1, or n plus 1. And we know that the third number is going to be 2 larger than the first one, so we're going to write n plus 2. And just to kind of show the nature of this, um, let's just write three consecutive integers, like 5, 6, and 7, and let us look at the number 6 and understand that it really is just 5 increased by 1, and 7 really is just 5 increased by 2. So whatever the second number is, is the first one increased by 1, and whatever the third number is, is just the first number increased by 2. So now we have to take whatever our first integer is and add it to the second integer and add that to the third integer. And that will have a sum of 159. Now we have an equation where we can solve for n and figure out what the first integer actually is. Next we have to combine like terms. We have 1, 2, 3 n's in our equation, so we write that as 3n. Now we have to combine the constants of 1 and 2, which is a total of 3, and set that equal to 159. Next, we're going to do the inverse of adding 3, which is to subtract 3, to both sides of our equation. And that leaves us with 156 on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side, we have 3n remaining. And now we have to divide this side by 3, and we have to divide this side by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, leaving us with 1n. And 156 divided by 3 is 52. So our first integer is 52. Our second integer is 53. And the third integer is 54. And if we were to add these together, they would in fact equal 159. And this is just one of an endless amount of ways that you can use equations when problem solving.